Georgian Wine, Wikipedia Audio Georgia is one of the oldest wine regions in the world. The fertile valleys and protective slopes of the Transcaucasia were home to grape vine cultivation and Neolithic wine production for at least 8,000 years. Due to the many millennia of wine in Georgian history and its prominent economic role, the traditions of wine are considered entwined with and inseparable from the national identity. Among the best known Georgian wine regions are Kakiti, Kartli, Imeridi, Rachelek Humi, and Kvemos Vainti, Ajara, and Abkhazia. UNESCO added the ancient traditional Georgian winemaking method using the Kvevri clay jars to the UNESCO intangible cultural heritage lists. History The roots of Georgian viticulture have been traced back by archaeology to when people of the South Caucasus discovered that wild grape juice turned into wine when it was left buried through the winter in a shallow pit. This knowledge was nourished by experience and from 6000 BC inhabitants of the current Georgia were cultivating grapes and burying clay vessels, kvevris, in which to store their wine ready for serving at ground temperature. When filled with the fermented juice of the harvest, the kvevris are topped with a wooden lid and then covered and sealed with earth. Some may remain entombed for up to 50 years. Wine vessels of every shape, size, and design have been the crucial part of pottery in Georgia for millennia. Ancient artifacts attest to the high skill of local craftsmen. Among vessels, the most ubiquitous and unique to Georgian winemaking culture are probably the Kvevris, very large earthenware vessels with an inside coat of beeswax. Not only kvevris were used to ferment grape juice and to store up wine, but also chapi and satskau, others yet were used for drinking, such as kilata, doki, sura, chinchilla, dita kilata, jami and marani. Kakiti, containing the microregions Televi and kverli, kartli, imeridi, rachalek humi and kvemos vainti, ajara. The continuous importance of winemaking and drinking in Georgian culture is also visible in various antique works of art. Many of the unearthed silver, gold, and bronze artifacts of the 3rd and 2nd millennia BC bear chaste imprints of the vine, grape clusters and leaves. The State Museum of Georgia has on display a cup of high-carat gold set with gems an ornamented silver pitcher and some other artifacts dated to the 2nd millennium BC. From classical antiquity, Georgian museums display a cameo depicting Bacchus, and numerous sarcophagi with wine pitchers and ornamented wine cups found in ancient tombs. From the 4th century AD, wine has gained further importance in Georgian culture due to Christianization of the country. According to tradition, Saint Nino, who preached Christianity in Kartli, bore a cross made from vine wood. For centuries, Georgians drank, and in some areas still drink, their wine from horns and skins from their herd animals. The horns were cleaned, boiled and polished, creating a unique and durable drinking vessel. During Soviet times wines produced in Georgia were very popular. In comparison with other wines from Moldavia and Crimea that were available on the Soviet market Georgian wines had been more preferable for Soviets. In 1950 vineyards in Georgia occupied 143,000 acres, but in 1985 already 316,000 acres due to increasing demand. In 1985 wine production was 881,000 tons. During Mikhail Gorbachev's anti-alcohol campaign, many old Georgian vineyards were cut off. Georgian wine has been a contentious issue in recent relationships with Russia. Political tensions with Russia have contributed to the 2006 Russian embargo of Georgian wine 
Russia claimed Georgia produced counterfeit wine. It was an official reason, but instability of economic relations with Russia is well known, as they use the economic ties for political purposes. Counterfeiting problems stem from mislabeling by foreign producers and falsified Georgian wine labels on wines produced outside of Georgia and imported into Russia under the auspices of being Georgian produced. Some winemakers in Georgia have also been known to import grapes and produce falsified Georgian wine, leading then Defense Minister Ira Klee Okruishvili to note in 2006 that several wineries that are still producing fake wine in Gori should be closed. The shipment of counterfeit wine has been primarily channeled through Russian-managed customs checkpoints in Russian-occupied Georgian territories Abkhazia and South Ossetia where no inspection and regulation occurs. Georgia is optimistic its recent association agreement with the European Union will expand its export markets and reduce the risk presented by any future unilateral embargoes by Russia. Georgia ranks second in grape production in the former Soviet Union behind Moldova and Georgian wines have always been the most highly prized and sought after in the Soviet space. Currently, the wine is produced by thousands of small farmers, as well as certain monasteries, and modern wineries. According to the Minister of Agriculture of Georgia, wine production has increased from 13.8 million 750 ml bottles in 2009 to 15.8 million bottles in 2010. In 2009 Georgia exported 10.968 million bottles of wine to 45 countries. In 2010, Georgia exported wines to, Ukraine, about 7.5 million bottles, Kazakhstan, about 2 million bottles, Belarus, about 1.2 million bottles, Poland, about 870,000 bottles and Latvia, 590,000 bottles. Viticulture in Georgia Today Georgia territorial and climate conditions are optimal for winemaking. Extremes of weather are unusual. Summers tend to be short-sleeve sunny, and winters mild and frost-free. Natural springs abound, and the Caucasian mountain streams drain mineral-rich water into the valleys. Georgia's moderate climate and moist air, influenced by the Black Sea, provide the best conditions for vine cultivating. The soil in vineyards is so intensively cultivated that the grape vines grow up the trunks of fruit trees eventually hanging down along the fruit when they ripen. This method of cultivation is called mollary. Traditional Georgian grape varieties are little known in the world. Now that the wines of Eastern and Central Europe are coming to international awareness, grapes from this region are becoming better known. Although there are nearly 400 to choose from, only 38 varieties are officially grown for commercial viticulture in Georgia. Traditionally, Georgian wines carry the name of the source region, district, or village, much like French regional wines such as Bordeaux or Burgundy. As with these French wines, Georgian wines are usually a blend of two or more grapes. Georgian wines are classified as sweet, semi-sweet, semi-dry, dry, fortified and sparkling. The semi-sweet varieties are the most popular. See also list of Georgian wine appellations. See also list of Georgian wine appellations. There are five main regions of viniculture, the principal region being Kakiti which produces 70% of Georgia's grapes. Traditionally, Georgian wines carry the name of the source region, district, or village, much like French regional wines such as Bordeaux or Burgundy. As with these French wines, Georgian wines are usually a blend of two or more grapes. For instance, 
one of the best known white wines, Tsinandali, is a blend of Rgatsidali and Mtsvina grapes from the micro regions of Telavi and Kverli in the Kakiti region. Growing Conditions Georgian Grape Varieties Georgian Wine Varieties White Red Fortified Wine Styles Wine Producing Regions of Georgia